Welcome back guys to Child of Light, where after seemingly dying on the night of her father's wedding, we find Aurora in this weird fantasy world. Picking up a sword and a companion firefly, we continue to adventure and do battle with monsters. For what reason, we do not know yet, but all we can do is really continue onwards. Follow my voice, you say? Well, I will do, but through this spooky place, no other choice. This is our firefly friend. Now I'm wondering what's exactly around here, hello. Monsters around here, that's for sure. Well, I'll take you a surprise attack. That's fine by me. For our firefly can light the way. I guess, if anything, you must be a dark creature as well. So let's nuke you with spells while slowing down your friend. As the light ray comes out, but does not do enough damage to dispatch our foe. Gathering strength, you say? Well, at this point in time, what I could do is gather up some more power for our Firefly friend, take out the one in the back, slow down the one in the front. So you actually managed to interrupt me. So with that said, maybe I should have defended like it says. I should hit you. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get hit again here. How dare you, creeper guy. But all the same, we should be able to take you out now. Just a slash. Vulnerable to fire? Well, that's good for equipping that then. 136 experience, but not the best way to go about doing things. So, with that said, let's get some more HP and MP back. By following that path. I'm picking up a Firefly Elixir, which will do what exactly? Which will do what? A Firefly Elixir will replenish Igniculus's, Igniculus's, okay, Light Meter, not bad, but Potent Fairy Nectar, recover 100% HP and MP, it seems really good. So I'm glad we picked up that. Head down past, find yourself treasure chests. Let's keep going. I do wonder if there's any more monsters nearby. After all, we can slow them down. Well, a little bit of light. And always secure the surprise attack. Okay, we've got ghosts and some foes are vulnerable to magic, you say? Well, I never would have guessed. I think I am going to nuke you indeed. A light ray here, and of course attack you after that. We tend to combo our attacks together, but vulnerable to light, and you're vulnerable to fire, sir, so we're just about, if I restore my power, I'm gonna get ya. Nicely done. 120 experience, maybe we'll be leveling up next battle, where we get ourselves a potent magic potion. Not that I really want to be chugging down these potions, but to be honest, I am a bit lax on overall MP at the moment. So let's see. Okay, you're going that way. I need to make sure I definitely hit you and get the MP here, but I can't get up this way, which is a shame. I wonder if those plants regenerate or anything like that. Well, we've got ourselves a box if we need to go. Aurora! The door is blocked. How do we get it unlocked? Well, it seems, if anything, that we maybe go ahead. Overhead, more to the point. But if we want to get through the door... We're going to need to go this way first. And those seem to just be statues, but we know them to be monsters. We're not going to fall for that stuff, are we? Let's put you in there. Get you over a little bit. And then take on our ghosty friend. Or not so friend. Oh, actually. Oh, we've already done that one. That's a shame. Oh, you turned around. Not what I wanted. We don't have any MP to be able to defeat you nice and easily, so really we should go, whoa! For our real foe over here. So we know we can dispatch you in one go. Oh no! A dodge? Well, they're both gonna hit me now, that's for sure. I can't really stop them at this point. Ow! We're taking heavy hits, that's for sure, and you regenerate very fast. Right, let's take out the first one. No dodging this time. Critical hits, in fact. 
We know you're going to attack me before I can get away with this. So how many attacks do you take, madam? Let's just put you on permanent slow. It seems you take more than one, that's for sure. Now, can I attack before you do? I think I can. Unless you dodge. And I'm running out of power. So we're going to take a fair few hits for the time being. We might even need to use a potion at this rate. But even with five more damage... You're hurting me like mad. Now, can I get you? Oh, heal with that? Okay. We learned nice new little things. We've got an interrupt on you, but... Collect wishes, you say, but I've kind of used them. Right, another four damage. Surely you're nearly out as well. Though a dodge is like the worst possible thing that you could do. Drury Gust? In fact, what we're going to have to do is use a potion. This has gone not so well, has it? Healing Tonic? I think that's what we're going to have to use. And of course, we can't really get to attack you before you attack us. So all I can really do is try to heal up a little bit more. This fight ended up a lot more difficult. Without the MP to deliver the finishing blow straight off the bat... All I can do is take more and more damage. Seems you're highly resistant to physical, but with that said, hopefully... Oh, not enough to level just yet. Get ourselves a potent magic potion. But overall, my HP is not doing too well. well that has not worked out well at all. I can't go through those ones because they're windows, but I can head through this door. Our first kind of harder battle. Strategy is a thing, after all. And something we really need to abide by. Alright, we'll take ourselves some more HP and MP, though. And we've got to see ourselves through a puzzle, it seems. How on earth do we travel up high? I wish you could fly. Aurora, illuminate the oculi. Let me try! Surely we will. But let me up first of all, because there's still a little bit more HP and magic up there. So with that said, we get ourselves up this way. I guess we illuminate you again to change things around. What do you think? They cast in there, eh? Hopefully not children. Oh no, what if it's cats? Indeed, what if it's cats? It's hard to see his writing, though, when he's jiggling around himself. Surely we should just be able to chuck you off here without much of a bad thing happening. Now, what do I need to do? I just need to get to here, first of all, by the look of it. Can I heal myself out of battle with this? Yes, I can. So, technically, I could always use you to just keep topping me up. It's not a bad idea if I've got that as a power. Use what you can. And I think we're in good shape for another battle now. So mind you, wait a second. Okay, we can't fall down here. It looked like such a place where we could fall down and explore. But there were platforms to get back up after all. With that, we will claim ourselves... Well, where are you going, guy? Okay, you've gone over there. All right, we'll just climb up first of all. Not crush myself, because that would be a horrible idea. Oh, oh. My platforming skills, they're coming out for all to see. Not really. Right, let's claim... Oh, my goodness. There's a little bit of forward momentum before she actually stops. A little bit of having to get used to things. Right, so let's claim that upwards. Get all the goodies we can. Do whatever this does, which moves this upwards. Well, that was a question of itself then, for me. It seems that goes up and down of its own free will. 
And I can jump back over no problem. I was just wondering if I could get underneath it somehow. Ah, so you go up and down of your own accord. And with that said, pressing the switch. Ah! Pressure switch. So what we need to do is get ourselves a box. And then wait ever so patiently. Let's push you on and head upwards. I'm a bit worried you might get a bit crushed, but I doubt that can happen. Doubt it can happen, but you know, always worried. Put you on the switch properly, and then head on through. It seems in the meantime... Oh, okay, that was a mean way for the fan to come out, but there's something up there. We can get higher than this? Oh, I wish I could fly as well. Definitely seems to be a path. Though where to? Ooh, what's this? Right, we got ourselves a rough ruby by illuminating that. Whatever that can give me. So where do I go to equip it? Oculi again? Right, rough ruby, increases fire damage resistance. We just basically got two rough rubies now, hey? And no oculi. Mm, what should I equip it as? Let's put it on four extra max HP for the time being. Seems we can get up and over there, but not for the time being. For the time being, it seems, I just really keep on increasing my stats ready for this next battle. Which we know to be you, sir. Whoa, whoa, level me up. And that's them walking forward when you don't expect it. I was thinking I would stop behind him. No, I walked straight through him. Surprise strike, you say? Well, we know that we can take out one of you with a big spell, first of all. Let's get rid of... Ah, this is problematic. Which one do we want hanging around? This is going to be a tough fight, I'm pretty sure. Well, that takes you out straight away. We know you're going to get an attack on me no matter what. Knock does four damage. Maybe I can just top myself up in the meantime. But I've got no more magic that I can cast, that's for sure. What I need to start doing, it seems, if I'd say anything... Oh, critical? Now that's just not fair. It's too bad I can't slow my attacks down. What I need to be looking to do is get to a point where I could possibly... Hmm. Defend is instant, isn't it? Get to a point where I could interrupt you? Well, that's just going to set me off for a really fast attack again. And even that damage hasn't won the day. So I think I should use my energy on healing myself. Because I'm of course going to take four more damage no matter what. Let's heal that up fully. And a little bit more, because we know at the end of this fight... That we should be looking to level up. Right then, lots more HP, MP, strength, defense is what I really want. That's for sure, and a magic potion gained. I could just chug some of them and top me up, but no, I don't need it at the moment. Let's put on a counter-attack, and then I'm thinking of going for a defense upgrade. 10% chance of counter-attacking a dark creature when attacked. This is a passive skill. Not a bad ability to have. Passives are always cool. As we open up the door below us, there it is unbarred. Aurora, be on guard. Oh no, is there a big monster inside? Well, I'm a bit worried about this, that's for sure. Igniculus, keep gaining your abilities. We're gonna need them here at last. Beware, a spell has been cast. I'm imprisoned behind the glass. You say that, but what exactly am I doing? Beware, a spell is being cast. Seems I have to illuminate something, maybe, or... Okay, I can move this of my own... A cord here. Aha! So what we're looking to do... Why is there one missing? That's interesting. Alright, let's turn that round one. What we're looking to do is beam the light up on the spots. 
Is there an order for these things? That's what I'm wondering. I smash the lights, I'm nearly free, be fast! If you say that, I can only go as fast as I can go. Who dares challenge the Queen of the Night? I didn't really want to, a tiny nothing with locks of red? Seems what I've drawn forward is boss battles. This is but a dream, trust not what you see. Seems real to me, they want us dead. That must be true. Right, which foe is attacking first here? Or should we use Light Ray? Uh, you are attacking first, so I should slow you down while I'm casting this. Go for an interrupt. Vulnerable to light interrupted? That sounds good to me. I'm pretty sure you're going to attack again before I get a chance to. What's this exactly? A speed increase has gone on? That's not good. Right. We should actually look to take out one of you. Oh, has that interrupted you? It is indeed, but you're now both going to attack. And for tons of damage as well. But counterattack, did that finish it? No, it's nearly down though. I think we should take down Mr. Back Row. And those counterattacks, the skill choice was insanely good. Let's put it that way. You can't really complain about what just happened there. My skill tree choice seems to have worked extremely well. Let's get myself some more power. And there we go, we even dodged as well. Maybe maybe it helped out that we got the extra dodge. With that said, actually, let's slow you, because maybe we can get you in a point where we can aim to interrupt again. Indeed we did. But hopefully he's not going to get to interrupt us. Keep healing. Right, any more flowers to gain some power from? Well, there's some more power. If I slow you again, I should get to attack first. Shall I go for interrupt? Still not enough to defeat you, and probably not enough for me to catch up with you. Well, I could go for a defense here. Take a little bit less in the way of damage. Ah, and counterattack. People probably thought the skill route I was going was bad. That pretty much said, hey, that is amazing. Right, we found ourselves some magic stardust. Lady, this is Aurora. Madame, snared am I in this dreamland. I am ready to wake up now. Child, a vision, take my hand. Once the sun shone upon a land of sequined valleys and peaks of white, and at night ruined castles glowed with alabaster light. From the stars in the crescent moon, a queen of light ruled this rambling place. Each night she walked the palace alone, her luminosity dawn's own face. Until one night there was no trace, the queen had vanished, and with her the light. Dark resided in its place, the usurper, Umbra, hid from sight. She sent her daughters in her stead, the sun, the stars, and the crescent moon, they pilfered from the sky extinguished them with the monsoon. Then Umbra's dark creatures conquered the land. Our lives soon snuffed out by a wave of her hand. Madame, thank you for the story. But now I wish to wake. So dull my speech, you fell asleep. What I speak of is real, not fake. All around us lies the land of Lemuria. I'm afraid this is not a dream, Aurora. The only way is a magic link. A mirror behind the throne. Stolen by Umbra, Queen of the Night. A soul path home. 
is to banish the night. Bring back the stars, the sun, the moon, the light. No, unacceptable. My father waits. Firefly said you'd help me post haste. I have a name, you know. Do not despair, my dear. I created Igniculus to aid you. Bug the size of a pin? No good, I fear. Never shall I recover. The sun, the stars, and the moon. Do not despair, my dear. For the sun and the moon seek the highest and the lowest room. First go back from whence you came. Past the altar on which you woke this day. Through a tree of thorns sharp and tangled. Seek help along the way. And what are the stars? How will I reach the skies? My child, the answer lies above you. Open your eyes. What an incredible surprise! Am I a fairy? I'm in flight! Aurora, you are a child of light. Now listen carefully, keep that charmed crown. Upon your brow, never remove it, clear? One last thing before I go. If you should ever despair, my dear. Thank you, exactly what does it do? Sorry child, I cannot hear you. Goodbye! Wait, but I... Must know, my father, is he alright? I'm surrounded by endless night. Now we can simply press A to fly. It doesn't seem to take any power or any kind of charge of a bar. And so Aurora wandered, the twilight forest far from home. Starlight only to guide her, except for a firefly alone. Anxious for the comforts, a family who could not trace her. Searching for the sun and moon, a father to embrace her. And somewhere in the night, perched upon a throne in the dark, waited Umbra, the usurper, to snuff out Aurora's spark. So with that said, with the power to fly gain, our first boss battle completed. I'll leave you for this episode. Join me for more Child of Light next time, as we go flying around the place. Wee! And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.